Hello, anyone dumb, bored, or lonely enough to be watching this video. Neil here. Ready to play some Ziggurat by myself. Wanted a game that I could just do a quick little match. Uh, just want to be 10, 15 minutes or so. First episode, mostly just for sound checks and seeing how comfortable I feel talking to myself, knowing that there's even a small chance someone could listen to it later on. Pretty terrifying to be honest. Magic wand skills. Smaller mana pool for the other magical disciplines. Sounds fantastic. Let's do that. So Ziggurat, it's a, uh, I suppose procedurally generated. It's supposed to be almost like a roguelike mixed with Unreal. You know, really high speed movement, uh, really slow speed. Whoa. Recording is definitely killing my frames per second, but really high speed movement, really slow speed projectiles. Only thing that I feel that this game is really lacking is in items. There's really nothing, like, you can't find any loot. You got your four uh, slots and that's it. You get your magic wands and, well, your base magic wand and then you pick, really. You can pick up a few more types of wand, and that is absolutely it as far as the variety of items. And it's just really lacking. One of the main things I like roguelikes is that there's so many different ways that you can customize your character as far as your gear set out and uh, items, you know, what weapons you want to use. But I just generally love looting. I love loot. I love finding stuff. Oh god! Of course, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm recording. People might actually see this, so I'm playing horribly. Do you expect anything else to happen? Oh god. What is that? Oh shit. God, don't get me now. Jesus. You're a dick. That's your face. Boom. You cannot fuck with me. You're just not on my level, alright? I'm just gonna say that straight out. So, that little thing I found, and you see upper left hand side says portal key. You gotta find that before you can actually fight the boss for each level. And since I found that, as soon as I walk into the boss room, I'm going to have to fight the boss, which kind of sucks. Ooh, watch your step. What? Why am I all slidey? Oh, wet floor. That explains why my footwork is all fucked up. mostly stick with the wand in this game personally because it regenerates mana none of the other weapons regenerate mana it's also weak as fuck oh shit you motherfucker I didn't slide everywhere. There we go. I'm glad the room effect wears off as soon as you kill the last minion. Let's see, am I full? Yeah, I got full fucking grenade mana. As you know, mana always powers grenades. Is there nothing in here? Close pray without offering anything. You don't have enough mana. 25 health to the- fuck that, I'm not giving you guys anything, you guys are dicks. Not bad, not bad. Reduce my mana usage, I can live with that. I really hope that, uh, I get a lot funnier in later episodes because so far this episode I can tell I'm just absolute shit. 
Ain't nobody gonna be laughing at this. What the fuck is going on? Alright, yeah, those faces are spitting them. I shan't be defeated. Why did I even do that? I'd probably check that first door. Okay. Ah. Boom. Right in your face. Catch. Level two. Yay. I can't actually do anything yet. Really? Oh, I hate those slimy guys. They just slide back and forth. It's annoying as fuck. You probably already noticed. I love the shotgun effect for the wand as opposed to the rapid fire. Just left click for rapid fire. Right click for shotgun. Let's upgrade. This game has a really weird upgrade system. Like I said, you don't get any real items there's no gear the only way you upgrade is whenever you level up you get these cards and you just have you know one of two potions give you more health increase your alchemy mana pool which one's alchemy I, I don't know which one's alchemy potions give you more health I'll go with that that sounds useful at least remotely God, I didn't even notice how big that dude was. Fuck you, carrot. That was simple enough. Now, one of the most fun things, in my opinion, about this game is just seeing, like, all these minion types that you're used to seeing in roguelikes as either an ASCII character, a very simple pixel art, uh... Sorry, I got distracted. A very simple pixel art tile set representation just seeing them in 3D running at you that's always cracked me up I was really happy whenever I first got this game and saw that it wasn't an absolute piece of crap so if you like roguelikes I really cannot recommend this game enough it is just a ton of fun this looks like a boss room let me shake this other room real quick just to be safe so that is definitely a boss room I haven't played in a while, I kind of forgot what the different room types look like. Let's kill some motherfuckers. Oh god, maybe I should pay at least a little bit of attention. Fuck. I hate those, like, three fireballs that run over everything. Whoa, whoa. in the beginning the projectiles move really fucking slow that's actually great whenever you're dodging them since you move really fucking fast all right let's upgrade before I go fight the boss and probably die and that's probably where I'll end this episode just because I wanted a really short episode just a little practice endeavor Increase your max and current health, but reduce the size of your mana pools. Increase your spell mana pool. Oh yeah, let's go with that. Let's kill this motherfucker. Hopefully, he's probably gonna kick my ass. This guy actually is kind of a son of a bitch. He spits out so many of those little guys. 
fuck. Can't really rely on hiding. Run away while I recharge. Oh god, I didn't even notice those guys are still running around. Yeah, that's my normal technique for this boss. Shoot him a few times so I'm out of mana. And just run away while I recharge. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Way the fuck off. Eat it. Eat my grenades. Well, this seems like a good a spot as any to call it quits for today. Maybe I'll make more episodes later on. It's been a pretty anxious affair just recording this. Sitting here nervous the whole time. Really, today's graphical abilities and they make a portal that always faces you. Yeah, I apologize if the frame rate is really awful. But I will see you next time if there is a next time. If you watched it all the way through, wow, I pity you. You must be really fucking bored to listen to me talk for however long it's been. Anyway, this is Neil Plays with himself. Hopefully I'll make some more videos later on. Thank you for your time.